welcome to the start of a new vlog. I'm starting this vlog a little late and I apologize, but I totally slipped my mind that it was Monday and I needed to start a vlog. I'm in bed now because it's 9 o'clock at night, but I am just going to read some of my book that I'm reading for that dedicated vlog, which reading vlogs are coming back, but I'm doing them in a different format. I'm keeping these vlogs that I do every week more lifestyle with reading thrown into it, but I'm going to be bringing back dedicated reading vlogs. So if that's more of you, just wait. There's one coming in October. So yeah, I have like 10 pages left I need to read of this to hit my 30 page goal. So I'm going to do that. But then I'm also going to read The Grace Year because I'm really enjoying it. I am now a hundred and something pages into it. I'll talk more about it tomorrow when I'm more coherent, but I just wanted to pop on really quick and say hello and welcome you. All right, I'm gonna go read now. It's currently Wednesday. How are you guys? I'm so sorry I haven't spoken to you guys since Monday. I had a busy day at work yesterday and I kind of just needed a day. And that's okay. I'm learning it's okay to take a day and I don't have to pick up the camera every single day. But I'm here home. I've been home for quite some time now. I got off really early, which I'm not mad about because last night my insomnia was really, really bad. And so was my anxiety. And I just didn't sleep till like after 2 a.m. So I'm very tired right now. But I still managed to get a workout in, be productive, do some cleaning and all that. So I'm sitting down now. I'm having the remainder of like my snacks I take to work. I've learned for me and like my body and just what I need that I need to eat snacks throughout the day. Like I can't just have lunch and that's it because I will come home feeling just run down, exhausted. Sometimes I have a headache. So by packing myself a little snack pack, I am more likely to eat this. So basically grapes, which I have grapes when I eat my lunch, but I have some remainder here that I just didn't finish because I ran out of time and I needed to finish what I was doing. And I just have some wheat thins and some cut up Colby Jack cheese. And I'm going to have that while I sit down and read The Secret History because I did not read this at all yesterday. So I have 60 pages I need to read. I'm now 120 pages into it. But because of my insomnia, I was able to read The Grace Year. And OMG, you guys, this book is so good. It's really good. My Kindle is currently dead. So I'm sorry I keep looking down. I'm looking at my phone to see like where I'm at. I'm very sorry. I It died last night. I am 254 pages into this book. I'm 62% of the way through and I'm really liking it. I'm wondering, I don't want to say anything because I I don't want to say what's happening because I don't want to give anything away and I don't think it mentions this thing in the summary so I'm not going to say anything but oh my god it's so good. Um, I heard about this book from Emily from Emily Page Books on YouTube and TikTok. Um, go follow her if you don't you should she's amazing and she talked about this book and one of her videos she said it was like one of the best books she's read so far at this year and I was like okay I need to get on that because me and her have similar ish reading tastes so I'm really glad I did and it's on Kindle Unlimited so there's that but I'm going to read now and have a snack and I will catch you guys later I promise It's around like three something, three, three almost four o'clock. And I just wanted to pop in here really quick because one, I got a PR package for a book. Who am I? Literally pinched me. I feel so incredibly lucky to have this, but I wanted to show you guys. 
So I saw it on my doorstep when I came home and I was like, I haven't ordered anything. What is this? And it was in a big box and it was very weird. I opened it and the first thing I saw were these. And I was like, what? And then I kept pulling stuff out and I'm like, oh my God, this is a book PR package. So let me explain. So the book is recipe for second chances. Look how cute. And it says Stella Park is elated to celebrate her best friend's wedding in the Italian countryside. Ooh. And maybe she also needs this escape from her personal and professional life. Writing recipes for a living isn't all it's cooked up to be. But the revelry is short-lived when she runs into an ex she hasn't seen since she broke his heart 10 years ago. Samuel Gordon. As her past gets propelled to the forefront, Stella tries to not question the choices she made a decade ago. When Stella and Samuel keep getting pushed together during a weekend filled with delectable food, Indian and Italian wedding traditions, unplanned detours, and gorgeous locals, she attempts to ignore that maybe he really was the one that got away. Playing it safe has always been Stella's dependable rule book, but maybe Samuel is worth the risk, and perhaps some love stories just need more time to marinate. Oh my god, so cute, right? So, in that, we got some nuts. Now, I'm not really a nut girly, so I'll probably give these to my parents because they are. But, however, these are walnuts, and I love me a candied walnut, so I'm going to candy these walnuts because I got a little note, which, if you ever send me a PR package... I keep all these notes because I just, it means so much to me, but it says, Dear Kaylin, I'm thrilled to share my debut novel, Recipe for Second Chances with you. I hope it gives you a little Italian escape and that the goodies and recipes get you baking from one baker to another. All the best, Allie. Because I love baking. So I'm actually going to make candied walnuts after this clip. But, and then, I got these. Like, I could always use cooking utensils and actually this is a soup ladle and I don't have a soup ladle and I need a soup ladle so thank you so much Ali. I'm very excited to read this book and to make some candy walnuts that's exactly what we're gonna go do so let's go do it so I feel like I have my own cooking show in this bowl I just combined three-fourths cup of sugar two teaspoons of ground cinnamon and then a teaspoon of salt and I'm just you know combining it and this recipe calls for 16 ounces of walnuts so I think that equals out to about two cups right because eight ounces are in a cup and they're smaller bowl you're going to whisk together one egg white forgot to add the vanilla oopsies and then once you have it mixed up to be like frothy you're gonna pour your walnuts in and make sure they're all evenly coated once they're all like evenly coated you're just gonna sprinkle this over the top like so and then you're gonna mix. I'm just gonna give it a good mix. Oh, these are gonna be so bomb. You know who's gonna love these? My dad. My dad's gonna love these. I know he is. Okay, so these take an hour to bake. So I'm just gonna put these on the sheet and put them in the oven and they're gonna bake for an hour. My camera's flashing at me, so I'm gonna charge y'all, but I'll show you when they're done. It's been a couple hours, but you guys, my candy walnuts are ready. I've tried them already, I'm sorry. But look at these. Betty Crocker who? They're so delicious. They taste exactly like the ones you get at the fair, if you've ever gotten them. I know pecans are usually the ones, but they sell walnut too. It's so good. So good. I'll put the recipe somewhere on screen or I'll link it down below where I got it. I mainly made these because I was like, oh my god, I like them, but I know my dad would be obsessed with these. And he and my mom are coming up on Saturday, but I'm like, oh my god, I'm obsessed with them, so I may have to make another batch. I have my playlist that's called Film Nerd on Spotify currently on. If you guys want to know it, I'll link it below. And I'm going to read... The secret history because I've been bad and I haven't been able to do my pages. 
because it's just been busy. But I'm on page 188 and I have to read to page 210. So not that bad. I have my walnuts besides me. I'm going to try to not <laughs> eat all these because they're so good. You guys, this is probably very bad for me to eat all these, but I'm not going to eat them all. We're not going to eat them all. So that's what I'm going to do. sat on the floor if anyone else just randomly sit on the floor um i'm sat on the floor because wyatt has just he's he, i think he's just he's a little bit needy okay and he's just been crying and crying and crying and i don't know what it is the only way he seems to be calm is when i am on the floor with him so that's what i'm gonna do and i'm actually going to watch um, Jody from Vanilla Moon's September monthly reset and then get ready for bed because unfortunately I do work tomorrow it's okay so that's what I'm gonna do hi guys so I'm gonna be real for a second this week has been a tough week and I try not to show it I try not to talk about it but then I had to talk to myself like Kaylin that's not real these people are watching your vlogs because they like you they want to know what's going on in your life so I'm gonna be real this whole week has been an anxiety ridden week and I don't know what's really triggering the anxiety but today after work I like I didn't let myself relax because my parents are coming over tomorrow so I cleaned my house, carpet cleaned, all that jazz, right? And I just sat down just now, had dinner, and then I just feel the calm down and I just feel so exhausted. The dogs at work have been on another level this week. The people have been on another level this week. It's just been a really tough week and I'm really glad it's Friday, but I had this moment overthinking moment that um this vlog isn't good enough i haven't recorded enough footage like there's nothing going on in this vlog there's no point of this vlog and i had the moment where i'm like let me just delete all the footage i'm not even gonna vlog anymore this week i'm gonna take the week off but i'm like no it doesn't matter if your vlog is five minutes or an hour long people are still gonna watch it so i don't know this this vlog is just not gonna be as good or as long as my other ones or maybe it will be maybe it'll turn out to be just as long because i still have tomorrow and sunday to film but i don't know i'm just feeling really exhausted and really glad it's friday <laughs> um but besides that i have some reading updates for you guys so last night i did manage to get to my page count of secret history and then i also finished dune today which is very exciting i've been reading that for like the last three weeks so i'm very happy that is done and let's see and the grace year i'm on page 316 77 percent into this book and i'm really liking it again i like where it's going and what is happening i want one thing to happen but i don't know if it's gonna happen uh, but i really hope it does so there's that. But I did check the mail after work and this kind of cheered me up. I got a PR package. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if it was me manifesting at the beginning of the year and things are just happening now. I don't know, but I did manifest that this was going to become more of a real thing. You know, I was going to get recognized with PR and blah, blah, blah. You know, all the things and manifest it at the beginning of the year. And I just, it, it's finally coming to fruition. Fruition? Fruition? fruition anyways so here it is and the front of the box said he's the last guy i should fall for he's my undercover bodyguard Ooh. and then you open it up and it says your next book boyfriend has arrived okay and I'm just gonna go through it. First up, you have the pencil pouch. And first off, I love that it's purple. Purple is one of my favorite colors besides green. I mean, my phone case is green. My whole computer setup is green. <laughs> but you open it up and there is a bookmark in here. 
and there are writing utensils and I love writing utensils so you have this purple one you have a white one and then you have this really cute focus there it goes really cute pen with um flowers on it and then you have one of the square highlighters so that's purple which thank you so much love that and i think this is like you can annotate the book with this which is so cute and then you have a boom chicka pop which i love boom chicka pop so much and this is the sweet and salty kind which so there's one thing about me is i love kettle corn i love it so much i'm not a huge like movie theater butter popcorn person oh i know i know but i love sweet and salty popcorn and i wish movie theaters sold it because i would get it you have a welcome to valley you and this is like a map on the university and there was a thank you card with this sweet note that says kaylin thank you so much for your support i hope you enjoy jane and hendrick love rebecca this is the book tempting the player and let's see what it says oh it can be read as a standalone it says so there's that and it says he's the last guy i should fall for valley you was supposed to be my first start after i escaped the glitz and glam of hollywood i didn't want to be the former child star the grace tv screens across that grace tv screens across the world i wanted to feel normal when the same hot guy runs past my off-campus house every day i assume he's another college student but when he protects me from boys who still think of me as the character from their teenage dream he think he is being kind when my past comes back to haunt me he makes me feel safe i'm falling hard and fast for a guy i barely know until i realize my mysterious new crush has a secret he was hired to be my undercover bodyguard Ooh. yeah so I don't know when I will get to this, but hopefully soon. So there's that. That's all my bookish stuff that I wanted to talk about. That's a little life update. I'm going to go charge my phone because it is movie night tonight. And let me see actually what movie we're going to be watching. I put a pull up on my Instagram between these three movies. And it was The Nun, Autumn in New York, and Guardians of the Galaxy. Gallery guardians of the galaxy i have seen but when it first released autumn in new york i've never seen and the nun i've never seen but i kind of want to watch it um but guardian of the galaxies did win it won by 56 percent and autumn in new york had 11 and the nun had 33 percent so there's that so i'm gonna go charge my phone and kind of decompress maybe watch some youtube and I will come back before I start the movie. Okay, see y'all later. Okay, hello. I have finished The Grace Year. I wasn't planning on finishing this book tonight, but when I sat down, I only had like an hour left. And I was like, let me just see how far I can get. And then things were happening and just kept going and going. And then before I knew it, the acknowledgements popped up. And I was like, oh, so I'm done? No, this book is so good, you guys. If you are looking for something creepy, something with like a sprinkle of romance, I'm talking like a sprinkle, but don't get like, don't go into it for the romance, okay? Because you're gonna get your heart broken. Just like I did when I started reading it and I was like, Ugh! Ugh! and um, yeah, and then Emily from Emily Page Books described it as the handsmaid's tale with salem witch trials if that had a baby this would be it and i agree 100 percent. and reading this as a woman makes me just so angry at men because i know like the men in our world well let me not say that because i don't you never know but the men in this book are just so like women can't socialize they have these magical powers and they have to go live in the woods and they don't deserve to have a life other than to be our wife and to go to bed with us and give us a child and blah 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 you know all that nonsense bullshit and it just makes me so angry and i'm like this is this may be why i'm still single because i read books like this and then afterwards i'm like i hate men i hate them I'm giving it a five star.
<laughs> but on that note, I know earlier I said I was gonna watch um, The Guardians of the Galaxy, but I've changed my mind. To any of you who voted on my Instagram poll, you didn't see it. No, you didn't. Listen, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna watch The Nun tonight because I just really, I wanna watch it. And because I'm already having like a shitty week, not to be like, to be frank. And I just wanna like do something for me. I'm gonna watch The Nun, but because it's a scary movie and I am a baby back bitch when it comes to scary movies, you guys. Okay, usually when I watch scary movies, today I'm forcing myself to watch a scary movie by myself. But to like counteract that, we're gonna make some cozy snacks. One being a cozy fall drink, the next being like, like a kind of a charcuterie board esque just with the like candy walnuts and then like some cheese and some crackers and that's my charcuterie board what is this i don't know so that's that but that's what i'm gonna do but first i have to start my tiktok because i always do a movie club on tiktok which if you guys don't know what i do let me let me show y'all so hi uh, up here up top is it gonna focus do you see that it says movie club click on that so I'm not looking at your events. And I have all these. You and I are going to have a cozy And we watch movies together and I rave and review them. But I have to look up some facts for The Nun because I literally know nothing about this movie. And I like to go into my movies knowing like a little bit of facts and trivia. So that's what we're going to do. It's 8.20. I don't know how long. Siri, how long is The Nun? Mm -hmm. How long is The Nun? Here's what I found from... The runtime of the nun is one hour and 36 minutes. 36 minutes. That's not bad. So we're going to get ready. We're going to set up and all that. And I'll meet you guys back when it's time to make our cozy drinks. Because I am going to show you guys this time. Because I didn't show you guys last time. And I feel like you guys are being left out of the movie fun. So I'll see you guys in a minute. So I totally forgot to press record, hee <laughs> hee. So this is what we're having. We're having my candy walnuts, cheese and crackers, and a spiced apple cider. Let's go start the movie. I have just finished the nun, hee <laughs> hee. If you guys wanna see me like react to it and jump, go to my TikTok because I pulled out my camera the perfect time because I set it up and it was a perfect scene for me to do it because I actually caught like a real jump that I did when watching this film. But let's talk about it. So when it comes to horror movies, I'm not that versed in them. I have seen The Conjuring, I've seen Annabelle, um, I'm, I've seen like the grudge, like I've seen the classics. Oh, I've read the big three. What's that TikTok sound? But I don't watch them ever for funsies. Yeah, I don't be like, oh my God, I want to sit and watch The Conjuring for fun. No, no, no. I'm more of a, I'm going to sit and turn on The Grinch for fun. Like that's, that's me. I'm not a Halloween girl. I'm a Christmas girl, but I love fall. I'm a fall and Christmas girl. Anyways. So... Going to this film, I know it was like part of the Conjuring world. I don't know where it fits in the Conjuring world, but I know it's part of it. And visually, I really like this movie. I loved the castle they use. I loved like the coloring, the ambiance, like the soundtrack. It was so good. The actors and actresses were fantastic. However, the actual nun character wasn't that scary. Wasn't that scary. And I don't like... There was like suspenseful moments and there was one moment that made me jump, but overall it wasn't like the scariest movie I've seen. I think I really liked the storyline. Like I want to know more of like how it became a thing. You know, they do explain it, but I need to like dive into it. I do want to see the second film now because of like how this film left off. And I don't know if the second one picks up right after or what happens but like i need answers i'm really sorry i'm really tired right now like it's a, it's um what time is it it's 11 
I'm really freaking tired. This is why I don't vlog at this time of night because this is what I'm like. I have no thoughts can be formed. That's everything. I'm gonna go to bed now. Good morning, guys. It's now Saturday and I have lots to do today. So, I slept through my alarms. Slept through them. Luckily, Wyatt woke me up just in time as the person who's delivering my groceries knocked on my door. And I was like, oh my God. I set my alarm for 7.30, slept through it till like 8.15. And I was like, oh my God, I don't ever do that. But I guess I just really needed the sleep, which is fine. Um, I just had some really quick breath fix. Usually I like to kind of sit and finish my coffee, watch YouTube, read a little bit on my days off, but I don't have time because my parents are coming over. I don't know what time though, but I have lots of like baking to do. I need to make some candied walnuts again for my dad and my mom, and I'm making focaccia bread, which the bread has to proof. All together, it has to proof for like four hours. Like, so I need to get on that. So let's go. Hello guys. I totally forgot to pull the camera out when I was making my focaccia bread. Listen, it was stressful. I've never made bread in my life and I was freaking out because the dough was sticky and it was sticking to my hands, but I found out focaccia bread dough is supposed to be wet and sticky. So I'm okay. I breathed the sign of relief. It's proofing for an hour and a half right now. I think I have like 50 minutes left. And then I'm going to put the like garlic butter and cheese in it and then let it proof again for another hour and a half and then it's finally gonna be ready to cook so when i get to the like the garlic butter i will show you all that um but i'm sitting down now because my parents are going to be on their way pretty soon um they live about like 45 minutes so they won't be here for a while but they're leaving pretty soon so i'm just gonna sit down and do some reading because i did not do my reading yesterday i didn't do it um so i'm gonna do it now so that's what i'm gonna do but i just wanted to give you guys a little update about the focaccia bread and apologize that i didn't do it but my gated walnuts turned out fabulous and i know my dad's gonna love them so let's get to reading shall we Now much later, my parents have left and I'm really tired, <laughs> but I didn't update you guys on my focaccia bread. Like you saw me make it, but I never showed you guys the end result, which it's pretty good, but I think I need to tweak some things. So I'm going to remake this recipe, not anytime soon, like not this weekend or next weekend because it was a lot. Um, this is what it looks like. I know. I'm sorry. It looks a little because we cut it up. But, yeah, it's pretty good. Me and my parents chowed down on it, and we just melted butter, garlic, and parsley together and had it as a dipping thing. So, very good. My mom also brought me these because these are my favorite things in the entire world. So, thank you, mom. And, yeah, Wyatt is here. We had a package. The box is for him. Um, we went for a walk. I legit almost said where we went for a walk at, which would have been bad because I live pretty much and walking like five minutes from it but anyways i found this channel on youtube that does vintage 
like fall inspired art prints. Look how freaking cute that is. Are you kidding me? So yeah, that's about it. I'm gonna sit down and read some of the secret history because I really need to get this done for that reading vlog that I'm filming. Because I would love for this reading vlog to be up by like uh, the first weekend of October, but we shall see. Okay, I'm gonna go read now. I'm sorry if I made you sick by walking around, but I'm gonna go. I absolutely hate that I'm an overthinker because I just recorded this clip and I deleted it because I didn't like how I was saying things. I didn't like that I was talking too much. I thought no one would like what I was saying. This week has just been a week of overthinking. So, but it's much later. As you can see, we have the movie Night Lights on. If you are a longtime viewer on this channel, you know these lights mean it's time to watch a movie. I was watching the newest season of Love is Blind on Netflix and I just had the urge to watch a movie and a movie night for myself, not one that I analyze it, that I react to it, that I talk about it through TikTok. I just wanna watch a movie night for myself. And last night I was supposed to watch Guardians of the Galaxy, chose to watch The Nun. So I'm gonna watch Guardians of the Galaxy today. But something I didn't tell you guys earlier was when my parents were over, we watched Annabelle and my mom is the like the biggest baby with scary movies. Like she doesn't really like them. She's like gets scared a lot. Um, but both her and my dad watched it and were like into it. And I mean, they, they had enough by then. They're like, okay, we're good. But I think we might carry on with the Conjuring universe. Now I've already seen the majority of the Conjuring movies, but there is like two, two, not including the newest, none that I haven't seen. So yeah, I think we're going to carry on with it. <laughs> I'm going to make them, but yes. So we're going to watch Guardians of the Galaxy right now. Now, I have no reading updates for you guys because I read a page and then I was like, you know what, I'm gonna go edit. And then I spent an hour editing the intro to this video on CapCut. I was trying to figure out a way to edit. I, when watching other YouTubers, I take a lot of inspiration with their editing style and like their intros, the outros, like how they do everything. I take a lot of inspiration and kind of put my own twist on it. And there's been a YouTuber that I've been watching that I love how she just does a simple intro. She does text. Like, I love how she does her videos. And I've been kind of trying to, like, do my own style of it. So I edited my intro with CapCut. The only thing I'm not happy with is I wish I would have pulled more B-roll throughout the week and then made my intro. But it's fine. Maybe we'll do it next week. But I did that and then I was like, why am I doing this on a Saturday night? Like literally, why am I doing this? So I sat down and realized I didn't have dinner. It was eight o'clock and I'm like, I haven't had dinner yet. So I had, I kind of made like a chicken sandwich with my focaccia bread and just a chicken strip. And I had that, that was delish. And then I watched some of Love of Blind and then had that moment, like I just said, and now we're here. And now I'm gonna turn on Guardians of the Galaxy. Wyatt is here with me. Can you see him? Let me move my shoulder. Yep, he's right here. So yeah, I'm in comfy clothes. Uh, I haven't done my skincare because I'm weird. I like to brush my teeth and then do my skincare. But yeah, let's let's go watch a movie together. I'm really excited. done most of my Sunday reset the only thing I have left to do is clean up the kitchen prep my eggs for my egg salad and that's about it oh and take my everything shower which I think I'm gonna take at like earlier because I really just I just I don't know I want to get clean 
but um, I just finished editing my vlog. I've been editing since 10 and it's now 1. <laughs> but it's okay. So what we're going to do for the rest of the day is read. I just want to sit down and read. Hang on. The Secret History. I really need to hit my page count today. Let's see where I'm supposed to be at today. I'm supposed to get to page 305 and I'm on page 228. So we have about this much to read. I think we can do it if I really tuck her down to it or at least get half of that read. I don't know, we'll see. I did watch Guardians of the Galaxy last night. I enjoyed it like I always do. And another thing I want to do today is watch Love is Blind because the new Love is Blind, but I might save that till later today. Like just to binge it the last half of my day. So I think that's what I'll do. I started a new book last night on my Kindle and I currently don't have my Kindle, so I'm very sorry about that. I know that's kind of annoying to not have it. And also, I hope you guys don't mind me not having like physical books. I know like a lot of people like to see physical books and vlogs, but because I'm trying to save money, I've been using my Kindle a lot, which is good, but I've started Wayward by Amelia Hart, which I will put a picture up on screen because the cover is gorgeous, and I only got 13 pages into this book, so I don't exactly know what is going on yet, but when I do, I will tell you guys, but yeah. I think I'm gonna go get some lunch now, turn on some YouTube because that's what I do on Sundays is I watch YouTube and yeah I'm feeling very cozy today I'm wearing my new H&M sweater that I got um a month or so ago because you guys it is 69 degrees outside and it's lovely it's crisp there's a breeze I have my windows open let me show you the windows open Wyatt is enjoying the weather fall and winter were created for introverts because it's so cozy and it's acceptable to like just be inside and be your introverted self and I love that so let's go get some lunch and chill out and catch up on some reading and some YouTube and yeah let's, let's, just, let's just go. hour has been had and I feel incredible like I feel so much better than I did this morning and I think it's because I just needed a shower sometimes you just need a shower so I'm just now sitting down with lunch it's about three o'clock I put on my dinner it's in the crock pot it's a cheesy potato soup which I'll show you later today and it's Sunday which means all of my favorite not all most of my favorite creators uploaded today which i've actually been thinking about switching the weekly vlog upload day to sunday i don't know what would you guys think what's your opinion would you rather me keep it wednesday and then have sunday as like just you know a bonus video or would you rather me do like sunday weekly vlog and then Wednesdays would be like my bonus video. I don't know, let me know. Because that way it would give me more time to edit my bonus video and then my weekly vlogs, more time to edit. Let me, let me know how you guys would like that. I don't know, I don't know how I feel about it. But let me show you my lunch and then I'll show you what we're watching because I'm really excited to watch your new video. Here's my lunch, nothing glamorous. We have a turkey sausage and honey crisp apples because it's apple season. And I love apples. And then we are going to watch Meg Hughes' newest video, which I don't know why it said I already started because I haven't started yet. Okay, I'm gonna go enjoy my lunch now. So it is much later. It's 4.40 at night and I'm going to end the vlog here like talking. There's going to be b-roll to follow but I just want to come on here and update you guys a little bit. I did manage to get to my page count of the secret history. I'm now 55% of the way through and I'm very 
excited because I'm loving this book. So that's all for that. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Remember to be kind to yourself and to others. And I will see y'all in my next video. Love ya. Enjoy the B-roll.